Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Sometimes you come across pictures on the internet and they really do captivate the imagination. And that's exactly what happened this weekend when I stumbled on this aerial photograph of a site I'd never heard of before. It's called Koi Krilgan Kala, an archaeological site located outside the village of Tazakel Timinar in the Alakala district in the Republic of Karakal Pakistan, which is located in Uzbekistan. Seriously, that sentence took me ages to record. Anyway, in ancient times, the site was located next to a man-made canal in the Oxus Delta region, and so it wasn't as isolated as it looks today. But what actually is it? Well, according to the experts, it is a ceremonial centre or temple complex belonging to the Khorasmian dynasty. It was built sometime in the 4th century BC, a monumental building laid out on a circular plan with large fortified walls and nine towers, encompassing a circle 87 metres in diameter. Along the outer wall there were various dwellings, whilst the inner circle, being around 43 metres in diameter, served initially as a burial ground for the rulers, before becoming a cool temple and shrine. When it was built, the Khorasmian dynasty was in a period of prosperity, and large-scale irrigation projects allowed the construction of large settlements in a once waterless deserted region. It is known that Khoi Krilgan Kala did have an important relationship with the ancient palace city of Toprek Kala, located 30 kilometers to the northwest. Apparently, a nomadic people known as the Apasaka tribe destroyed this site around 200 BC. It was later rebuilt into a settlement and it stayed in use until 400 AD. Around that time it was abandoned. In its second phase it doubled up as a temple and a fortress, but the high-rise structure in the centre was also an observatory, a kind of astronomical centre for the Khorasmian people. In the centre, experts found an astrolabe and other instruments, and it was clearly a place to observe the sun and other features of the night sky. A number of the architectural features are also aligned astronomically. In terms of religious significance, it was a temple with two primary gods, the sun god Siavush, shown in the architecture with the circular shape, and also the water and fertility god Anahita. Excavations and associated artefacts show that the western part of the complex was built in honour of the goddess, whilst the eastern and southern parts were in honour of the sun god. Why the site was abandoned we don't know, but for the centuries that followed, the ruins slowly became buried in the landscape, and were only rediscovered in 1938 by Sergei Tolstov. Excavations didn't start until 1951, work that continued the following year, and also in 1957, where a team of people worked to expose large sections of this impressive monument. During the excavations, large amounts of fine vessels, jugs and plates were discovered, and these were decorated with human heads, animals, griffins, and also a mounted Scythian warrior. There were also a number of terracotta figurines of gods and goddesses, including the old Persian fertility goddess Anahita. There were also figurines of horses, a monkey, a griffin, and also human heads. Sadly today, as you can see on Google Earth, the site's been left in a poor state of preservation. After the excavations it was left exposed to the elements, allowing the monument to become badly eroded. Local people living in the region have also recycled the mud brick it was built from. There really isn't a great deal of information available on the internet, but if you want to learn more, I've put some links in the description below. If you're new to the Ancient Architects channel and you found this interesting, please subscribe and check out my playlist, Amazing Historic Wonders of the World. 
and in the coming days I'll be making a lot more videos on fascinating and little known ancient sites, some of which are truly mind boggling and mysterious. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects, if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel, please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.